What's up, YouTube? Coming at you with another video. It's your boy, Jeff Bone. <clears throat> Just want to talk about a couple things. Um, one being, um, I appreciate the views. I didn't even think I was going to be getting so many views, honestly. But, hell, I'm actually just excited off of one view, to be honest with you, but keep them coming, you know. Um, uh, one thing I like about this shit is I do like to get my thoughts out. I am a very subconscious person, so this is why I'm actually fuck with YouTube, you know. And I fuck with other, you know, shit like, you know, other social medias, Facebook, Instagram. You know, I have a Twitter. My Twitter is dry as shit. <clears throat> I'm only on Twitter for other shit, you know, news, sports, and shit. I don't have too many friends on Twitter like that, too many people I know, because, hell, they don't even use Twitter. They don't even like Twitter. Mm. But I want to thank y'all for, um, you know, watching my stuff, you know, and I really do hope you guys enjoyed it, you know. I mean, another thing, um, I do appreciate the comments, even though I only got, like, a couple comments. You know, shout out to my boy AT, Desert Eagle, man. Desert Eagle 90s channel, you know. Eagle fan for all you Eagles fans out there. You know what I mean? Um, somebody else, man, I forgot his damn name, man. But yeah, he had a kind of a funny name, you know. But shout out to him, too. Subscribe to him, too, you know. <clears throat> uh, what else? Oh, yeah, I wanted, man. See, this is one thing, though, because there's a couple videos where I didn't got, like, 50 views, 60 views. Um, there's one video I got, like, 400 views. Uh, I really wish I could turn those views into subscribers. I only got, like, 14 subscribers, man. And I do appreciate that. I appreciate that so much. But I could use some more subscribing, man. So please subscribe to my channel. I'll subscribe back, you know. Like, show me some love, man. Show me some love. Just peep my shit, you know. I'm probably not going to be as animated as everybody else. I'm just getting my thoughts on shit. What they call it? Video logs. You know. Vlogs. Whatever. Okay. <clears throat> so, that's out the way. Um. Now... I want to touch on this more than anything since we on the little, since we on the ride with this shit, you know, this Eminem thing, you know, is this, that kill shot this, that it pissed off more than, well, Angie Cage just laughed, you know, I didn't even give a shit, you know, but pissed off Diddy, well, he didn't piss off Diddy, I don't know if he pissed off Diddy, but my thing is, look, that fool Casanova, and what's his name, um, Jay Electronica, first off, Jay Electronica ain't gonna do shit, we know he ain't gonna do shit, let's get that out the way, um, Casanova, I thought his reaction was pretty funny, you know, you're like, man, don't get Diddy in that shit, but you a rat. It's like, first of all, he's not even ratting. We know this shit was a fucking lie. How is he ratting about some shit that's a fucking lie? You know, it was just a fucking punchline. To me, I just took it as a punchline, like a hard-ass punchline. And there's been other times when he had said some shit about, you know, Pac and shit. You know, that one song, If I Get Locked Up Tonight, you know, he said, I think it was in his first song, Verse, like, as soon as it came in the song, you know, the first, as soon as the beat dropping shit after the hook and shit, the first couple bars of the song, he said some shit about, you know, you know, Tupac's chest and shit, you know, and a couple times he didn't refer to it on, um, what was it, Marshall Mathers LP, you know, when he talked about, uh, what was it, it's actually the song, Marshall Mathers, you know, when he did saying ICP and shit, you know, and, again, first verse, you know? So, I mean, I, I watched this one video, and, again, subscribe to that channel, Carcino and shit. I watched this video and shit. Um, oh, shit. Hey. Shit. Excuse me. Technical difficulties. You know, my production fucked up. It's all right. Get it clear. Hold on. Mm -hmm take two but 
I mean, I think he would have came to expect this from Eminem. I think a lot of people would have came to expect this from Eminem. And that's one thing I hate right now. I'm starting to just pick. This is what I'm observing right now, okay? Like, people are demanding shit. Demanding Eminem to do this and say this and go hard to be the old M. And then when he really don't give a fuck, that's when old people going too, he's going too far and shit. Like, y'all asked for this. It ain't no too far. It ain't no too far in this shit. Fuck that shit, man. Like, serious shit. And then mind you, that tweet, you know, MGK talking about Haley J. He tweeted that shit in 2012. Haley J was 15 years old in 2012, man. <laughs> let me let me talk about that shit. And I'm going to repeat that shit. She was 15 in 2012. Okay? Okay. Damn, you my favorite MC. This is the only reason why I'm doing this shit. Carcito, man, I love your channel and shit. I love your content, but I got to hold it down for my boy Eminem because, bro, <laughs> your channel, I think your channel is tearing them up worse than MGK, man. MGK slapped on my back <laughs> with that rat devil. <laughs> that shit was funny as fuck, man. That shit was funny. The reaction to live chat, man, it was hilarious. You know, it's like, come on, man. I got to root for Eminem on this one, man. Come on, Eminem. Don't let me down, man. <laughs> Serious shit, man. It's like, like you like boxing, man. Like, come on, man. It's like a boxing fight, man. Rap boxing fight me, man. It's like, come on, man. I got my money on him. Shit, I done bought his album and shit, man. <laughs> Don't make this be for not, like, serious shit. But anyways, I don't see any reason why Diddy would have to be pissed off or anything. Honestly, if I was Diddy, I, I would shrug that shit off. Serious shit. There is, it's like, like, what well, Royce, oh uh, man, you know, Joyner, what they said, you know, it's like, yo, man, yo, let them do what they do right now, you know? Don't even step in, you know? Just like, mind your business, you know? That's all it is, mind your business, you know? So all it is. So, I mean, okay, maybe the outlaws, uh, touchy subject and shit. But, again, people ask for it. You know, people demanded it. You know, it's like, yo, you, you really, and it's like, what'd you expect? Really? What'd you expect? And, you know, he can probably go deeper than that. Probably even more fucked up than that. There is no doubt about that shit. If you guys want the old M series shit, the old M back in the back in those times didn't give a fuck. Like PC culture. <laughs> if you want to compare like the two thousands, the nineteen ninety nine, the nineteen ninety eight, nineteen ninety seven up till now and shit. We was doing getting away with a lot more shit then than we are now. You like serious shit. We was growing up in the era where people was flashing their titties live on TNT. You feel me? And they still getting away with shit. You feel me? Like, come on, man. And I guess maybe the internet has something to do with that, you know, and we don't have camera phones and exposure to shit now and sh whatever but you know there's other shit that's been exposed you feel me like come on man like then d'angelo do a whole fucking music video asshole naked like come on man so i'm just saying like you want to compare the times right now and shit like don't say nothing about people going too far in rap man how, how uh, serious shit what is the limit in rap what is the cap in rap as far as I know, because I mean, as far as I know, it's when somebody get killed, you know, but it's like, it shouldn't even have to come to that, right? If they say, leave it in the bars, leave it in the bars, you know, it's like, come on, man, you just poking at somebody and poking at somebody and poking at somebody and then they say some shit and everybody's, <gasps> you know. I mean, we can't even say the word maggot. Maggot with the M. We can't say that word no more. You know? <laughs> it's, it's crazy, man. 
it was PC culture then evolved into something. And it's like, fuck. Maybe people are getting older to the point where it's like, okay, I don't even think like that no more. You know, maybe older other people are like, you know what, fuck it. I just don't give a fuck. Because I know damn well when I'm like 80 and 90 years old and I'm still alive and shit, still functioning and shit. Oh, yeah. I won't give a fuck. I'm like, look, man, I done survived through all of this shit, all this bullshit. I'm going to say what the fuck I want to say. Fuck this shit. Fuck this PC culture shit. There's going to be a time when I ain't going to have no manners. <laughs> you know, when I done paid my dues and shit, I'm not going to have no manners. You know, because the bullshit that <laughs> that be going on and shit, I'll be like, come on, man. Paying my taxes, and this how y'all motherfuckers treat you motherfuckers like serious shit. Feel like Dave Chappelle on that Rick James shit. Like, man, fuck all your couches and your cushions. Like, serious shit. Man, like, serious shit. That's just my thing. Like, people, people have grown sensitive. Like, I understand, okay, don't say shit about people's kids. You know? People are real touchy about their kids, you know. And I said this in um, a previous video. When has Eminem ever said anything about people's kids? You know, you don't ever see shit like that, you know. And this is probably the third time you didn't say something about Tupac or Biggie, whatever. You know, but we all know that was a conspiracy theory. We all know that was bullshit, you know, and... They can't, tr they can't try out Diddy for that shit anyways, you know, it's not even criminating them, so it's not going to criminate them, nothing's going to happen to Diddy, only thing that's going to do is just have people talk shit and write about them, write blogs about them, you don't see a whole bunch of YouTube videos talking about the Illuminati and Diddy now, that's all that's going to happen, man, you know, so I don't, I don't believe any of that shit, man, it's like the way... I guess, man, the way people's brains are wired, man. If I was Diddy, man, I would just roll with it, man. If I was Diddy, I would troll too, but Diddy is, you know, Diddy's wired differently too, man. Diddy's a special kind of character, you know. It's like, come on, man. You know, but who knows how he's going to react, man. Shit, he probably already reacted, you know. But I don't think that's anything to have, like, serious shit, man. Just leave between the white boys, man. Just, that's it. Just leave between the white boys, man. Let's enjoy the bars. You guys wanted this shit, so let's do it, man. You know, it is what it is, man. And my money's on Eminem, man. Let's do it, man. Hey, MGK, he got a, um, he got an EP coming out on the 21st, and I'm about to listen to that shit. I'm about to get that shit, too. And I already know what's coming, man. <laughs> I just don't know. It's, <laughs> it's like, yo, I got to embrace myself, man. And I hope Eminem is ready too. See shit, man. I hope I hope Eminem is prepping for this one. Serious shit, man. It's like Eminem, you might as well just go ahead and drop another album or an EP or something. Like serious shit. I don't give a fuck. Like just like you, right? Don't give a fuck. Still don't give a fuck. Don't do it. Don't no fucks to give. Fuck that AI hey, went too far bullshit, man. Serious shit, man. <laughs> You know, I mean, if you're making money off of it, I mean, I don't know. I don't know, whatever. Because, I mean, if you're making money off of it, then ain't nobody I hurt or killed at the end of the day, then, shit, you ain't go too far. So, I guess, man, like, real shit. I mean, you ain't talking about nobody's kids or anything like that, you know. Angie K, I, I guess, okay, now if you talk about Haley. And I mean, look, man, I, I, I'm sorry, man, but I didn't seen Haley's Instagram, and I know she got a boyfriend and shit, but Haley look good than a motherfucker. And like I said, I said in my last video, and I know I ain't the only one that's saying it, shit, but man, she look good, dude. Hey, it is what it is, man. So, I mean, you can't blame other people who want to be on there, but what... MGK did it 2012. Oh, yeah, that was wrong, man. Of course, Haley was way too young. Even if it was a joke, I understand why you got angry and shit, you know. And it's like, come on, man. He on your own label doing this shit, you know. So, I understand. I understand to an extent why you had to do what you had to do. Um, I think that's the... 
the only thing I wanted to touch on, you know, anyways, please, um, so, you know, subscribe to my shit, um, there's Jeff Bone, um, Fly Eagles Fly, Bird Gang, 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 Bird Gang, all day, every day, man, we going, oh yeah, we going to Tampa, Tampa Bay, I mean, the Bucks, man. Shit, we got some people out. Of course, Nick Foles is starting. Shit, I believe in Nick Foles. You have a good um, running back, you know, running back core. You know, we got Corey Clement, Jay Ajayi, the J Train. You know, shit, we have very good. Um, we got very good offensive linemen, man. Shoot, our defensive line, man. You know, Fletcher Cox, man. We gonna eat all season, man. Um. Now, with the Philadelphia Eagles, I'm going to say this is actually going to be a tougher season than last season because we got a lot more traveling time, you know. So, uh, I am don't expect no – I ain't, we expect to win games, but these are going to be some ugly games, though. <laughs> like, Tampa Bay, I expect us to win that one, <clears throat> even though they said that – I mean, I looked at Bing. They said um, 51% chance that the Bucks going to win. Like, okay, whatever. You know, said the same thing about the Chargers, and we beat the Chargers and everything else, man. They said that Patriots going to win. But any, anyways, anyways, I expect us to win, but it's going to be an ugly game just like the um, Falcons and shit, you know. Um, you know, I... If I was Doug Peterson, I would not pull out the Philly special because they might expect some shit like that. Don't run the Philly special too much. Give it away unless you're doing it in different formats and shit. You know? Or throw it to somebody other than a quarterback. Because, I mean, you, you could burn that play out. So just be smart, man. Our defense is going to lock shit down. Down, man. Oh, my God, man. See, I understand Carson Wentz and shit, but I truly believe defense won championships. And if you don't believe me, look at last year's Super Bowl. Serious shit? Our defense is the heart and soul of this motherfucking team, man. <laughs> That's what I truly believe. <clears throat> man, our defense is the reason why we've been winning games, dude. Jim Schwartz been saving our asses. Serious shit. I don't understand how the fuck we don't have fucking statues of these people, man. Serious shit. Yeah, I love you, Dougie P, but serious shit. Um, fucking um, Jim Schwartz. Serious shit. Man, where would we be without Jim Schwartz? Serious shit. Hey, honestly, where would we be without a defensive line? And now we got Michael Bennett to the crew. Man. Now, let's hope that, you know, Jordan Hicks, man, let's hope he can stay healthy. You know, let's see what he could, you know, really do, man. I ain't really never seen him play a full season like that, so that's crazy, man, you know. Yeah, I remember that time when he was playing with, when we had uh, D'Amico Ryan. I think that was his rookie year and shit. You know, he was getting sacks, picks, all types of shit. You know, end up getting hurt in there. Man, that fool always hurt. God damn. Yo, man, be careful out there, motherfucker. Shit. Man, you you a good vibe to the... Man, I, I would hate to see a player like you go, man. But if we got to, we got to. It's like, yo, man, you fragile, man. You know? So be careful out there, man. You know, health is everything. Um, our safeties, DBs, corners. Got good corners out there, man. You know, I'm I'm pretty excited seeing J um Sidney Jones play. You know, <clears throat> welcome back, Brandon Graham, of course. You know, Malcolm Jenkins, man. Good to see him back in the Philly green and shit. You know, man, we got a fucking squad, man. Ronald Darby, man. 
Ronald Darby, that's my boy right there, man. Ronald Darby is a G. Nigel Bradham is a goon. Jalen Mills, the Green Goblin, man. Yo, man, shout out to them, man. I, I'm really stoked for the season, man. Let's go, Philly. Let's go, man. All right, I'm out. Bye, niggas.